Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well today. I am going to be trying on some sunglasses that I recently got from a company called Les Specs. And this is going to be a try on haul and I figured why not share how the sunglasses fit me and just kind of show you some really pretty sunglasses in case you might be looking for some for summertime and for the year. I honestly have a really hard time finding sunglasses that uh, suit my face, that don't leave marks on my cheeks or my nose. And so I got a couple of different options to try because I know from experience that probably not everything's gonna fit me, but I'm hoping at least one pair will look nice and will kind of fit me well. And I got some really popular styles, so I figured maybe you're gonna be interested in kind of hanging out with me for a bit as I'm trying on some really cute sunglasses. I also uh, particularly wanted to kind of shout out to the brand Les Specs. I really, really like them as a brand. It's an Australian company. I know Les Specs might seem like it might be a French company. It's an Australian company. And what I particularly like about the brand is that they offer what I think um, is a really good quality pair of sunglasses for an affordable price point. These aren't extremely cheap for sure, but I think for the quality that you get, it's a really, really good deal. I also like the fact, and this is a really big thing for me, that you can see what materials they use for sunglasses and just additional information that you can read about sunglasses. And I particularly like the fact that they offer uh, shutter resistant polycarbonate options, which is important to me. Not all um, lenses or materials that they offer are polycarbonate, but some are, and if you're looking for that, they do have that available, which I think is great. Um, I also really love the fact that these sunglasses come with a case and a cleaning cloth. It's a really small thing. I know this is not something maybe to choose one brand over the other, but I really, really appreciate that the sunglasses do come with a case because I always have a hard time finding a quality case. Uh, either they're too flimsy and they don't protect the sunglasses enough or they're too bulky and they just don't fit into my bag. And this is just, I think, the best case, honestly. It's really stylish. It is slim, it's it's like a pouch style, um, but the material here is thick, so uh, in my experience, they do protect the sunglasses without taking up too much room in your bag, which is great. And there is a handy dandy pocket in the front where you can keep uh, the cleaning cloth, which honestly comes in really, really handy because uh, I tend to get makeup and just finger smudges on my sunglasses quite often so this cloth does an amazing job at keeping your sunglasses looking clean and just presentable and by the way this is the pouch from the one pair that I already own which I'll also be trying on today just to show you uh, the style but I also have three new ones that I'm gonna be kind of testing out and seeing whether or not they suit me and if you have any opinions as to which I should keep then I would love to um, get your perspective as well because sunglasses is one of those things where it's kind of hard to tell yourself because you're looking through the sunglasses and sometimes they sort of I don't know I wish you could kind of see yourself from the other person's perspective and I guess since I'm filming this I could do that but anyway let's just dive into it <laughs> shall we so first let me um, try on the pair that I already have uh, and it's called, the, the style is called Bandwagon. It's a really popular style, but I actually have a color and the style within that style that's a little bit unique. It's a lighter color with a mirrored finish, which by the way, when you wear mirrored sunglasses, I feel like people look at you more so because what they're looking at is their own reflection in your glasses. I remember I wore them for the first time when I went on a day trip and I remember everyone kept looking at me and I was like, what is going on? I, this is just different. Like people just kept like looking into my face. And then I realized that what they were looking at is the reflection of themselves in my glass. So that was kind of funny. But anyway, so um, this is the first style, the bandwagon. And I, I do like them a lot. You'll be able to see the camera. <laughs> I do like them a lot, but the problem with these glasses for me 
is that they tend to uh, leave marks around my nose and my cheeks and so I can't really wear them for a long time without having them kind of create a, um, a, a mark on my nose and also they tend to <laughs> get makeup kind of rubbed in them as well. I do really like the style. They look uh, a lot bigger on, um, on me than I thought they would. Uh, which I kind of like because bigger glasses tend to make me look a little bit just... Uh, I, I tend to pull them off better. I know nowadays I think people tend to go for slimmer ones. That's the style now, kind of the 90s. And I do like that style and I would love that style if I can or could pull it off, but I really can't. So I tend to go for a kind of larger style, bigger sunglasses. If I wear these during the day and take them off, I do end up having unsightly marks, which I don't like. And I don't know if it's everyone or just me, but I do notice that with these particular glasses, which is a little bit of a shame because I really do love the style here. It's beautiful. It's one of those kind of classic and timeless, but also in shapes. Um, so I really like these a lot. Now let's move on to testing out the three new pairs I got. And this is the part where I really love your opinion. So I did get two um, two pairs that have nose pads and then one pair that didn't. The one pair that didn't, I just have a feeling it's not going to work to be honest with you, but I wanted to try them just because you never know because they look so stylish, so, so stylish. So I'll save them for last, but um, let me start with the pair that I think might work. It's called Lost Legacy and this pair looks I think as the name would suggest, kind of retro, but in the way that is also timeless and classic and not in a way that you're trying to to kind of go for a retro glasses. It almost looks like you just happen to have them for a while and they sort of look a little bit retro now. I don't know if that makes any sense. They just look like you're not trying to go retro, but also you are a little bit as well. The reason I got them is that I thought they might suit my face and also they had nose pads and they're a little bit smaller so I figured they might not leave marks so much. This is what they look like and let me put them on really quickly. So they are a rounder shape. The lenses are a little bit further out which makes me maybe look a little bit bug-eyed but I kind of like that look as well. Um, I can tell you I can smile where my cheeks go up and I don't feel like my cheeks are touching the glasses which is really great news. They feel quite lightweight on me and this is what they look like. I kind of like them. What do you guys think? I also really like the style of these glasses because they have a kind of a more relaxed look to them, a more simple look to them that I feel like would work well with a dress or even like a t-shirt and shorts or something like that or jeans. Um, so I really, really like them. I will probably try them on a couple more times and just see how they look, um, but I like them. So far, I'm curious to know what you think about the legacy, sorry, lost legacy. <laughs> and um, let's move on to the next pair. Okay, so the next pair I got are aviators. And the style here is called the Prince, I believe. And this is what they look like. And let me go ahead and put them on. Again, they have nose pads and I'm hoping they won't leave marks as per usual. <laughs> um, so. They look quite big on me, um, but I kind of like that. Although the thing I'm noticing right off the bat is there's a reflection on the inside of the glasses. I can see like the background behind me in the glasses, which is probably going to be kind of distracting. So I don't know if this is maybe, I don't know if this is going to work for me as far as that's concerned, but I don't know, maybe it's a personal situation but I, I can like see the the painting I have in the on the side here in the reflection which is really pretty but it's a little distracting because every time I, I turn my head I can kind of it's almost like a kaleidoscope a little bit <laughs> um, so I don't know if I love that aspect but I kind of like the shape it's it, I, I don't know aviators is probably not the shape I'm supposed to go for 
uh, as far as what's supposed to complement me and my face shape but I always like aviators because again they tend to not leave marks on me and they just tend to be really comfortable but these in particular again th that reflection is a little off-putting for me but I do love the style and reflections might be personal it might depend on like how your glasses are sitting on your face but either way I wanted to share with you these glasses I look really um, maybe cooler than I am <laughs> with these glasses if you want to look cool there's no better pair of glasses than aviators I feel like to put on because they just automatically make you look like a really cool person <laughs> um, so this is the Prince I don't know if I'm gonna keep them just because of the reflection but uh, otherwise I I do like them all right and the last but not least this is the pair that I really hope is gonna work but I almost can guarantee it won't just because I, I know myself but I couldn't help it I really wanted to give it a try and it's the style is called air heart and this is like that fabulous looking pair of sunglasses I feel like you put them on and you just feel fabulous like a movie star or something and I chose to get a kind of a different color uh, I'm not sure if I made the right choice or not but I sort of do like them they have kind of uh, kind of an interesting uh, detail at the top. There is a gold band here at the top, which I didn't know about before ordering ordering them. Uh, I don't know if I like that, but I I guess it kind of works here. I do like the lighter coloring here because I feel like the style itself is very glamorous, but the coloring I chose to get is a little bit more kind of lighthearted and fun. And so when you combine the two, it sort of brings down that glamour into a little bit more of a wearable category for me. But I do also really like um, the either the black or the dark brown color in these sunglasses because that looks extremely chic and extremely glamorous. So if you want to go for slightly like full-on glamour with these glasses, then I would definitely go for those two colors. Um, but I figured I would just try a funky color because I, I have clearly have a, a soft spot for uniquely colored glasses <laughs> so all right let me try them on cross your fingers because i really hope they work i keep I, i'm doing a slightly weird smile right now because that's how i check and see if my cheeks touch <laughs> um okay so first before i start talking about um my cheeks and, and those <laughs> um marks and all of that this is what they look like I really like the way they look like on me. They definitely, again, have that air of chicness about them. I feel like you instantly just look chic. And I can definitely see myself wearing them, honestly, when I don't have a lot of makeup on and I just kind of want to cover my, myself a little bit and just sort of look a little bit more presentable and put together. Um, but they do feel a little bit heavy around the nose area for me. So I, I kind of almost can tell that they're going to cause marks. You can already see the marks that they're leaving on my nose. Again, it's definitely a me thing. I feel like a lot of people don't have this issue, but I do. And with these glasses, they do feel a little bit bulkier because they are, and a little bit heavier because they probably are, because there's just a lot more material here. And I just feel like for my nose shape, it, they're going to leave marks that it's just going to make it so that I have to basically keep them on and not take them off. And so if I'm if I'm wearing makeup and I'm trying to look good without the sunglasses and with the sunglasses, I wouldn't really be able to wear these. If I'm running errands and I'm not wearing makeup and I'm just trying to kind of cover myself a little bit <laughs> to appear a little bit more put together, these might these might work. So the glasses I think I'm going to keep and the ones that feel the most comfortable and that uh, just are less likely to leave any kind of marks on my face are going to be the first new ones I've tried uh, and this style is called Lost Legacy and I really really like it I think it's it's definitely a unique style it definitely looks to me like a retro pair of glasses uh, and I like that a lot I kind of like um, that they're different I don't think I've ever had a pair of rounder glasses like that and I don't know if I'm supposed to wear round glasses or rounder styles um, but uh, out of the ones I've tried I think I like these the best and I'm curious to know what you guys think 
I do love the look of Earhart as well. I just, I know, I know these are gonna cause issues with marks for me, which is unfortunate because these are gorgeous. And I highly recommend you checking them out if you feel like you can, um, if you can pull them off because they are fabulous. Fabulous. And I don't use fabulous a lot because I feel like not many things warrant the word fabulous, but these glasses definitely do. And yeah, on that note, I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little try on haul of sunglasses and my... <laughs> my sharing the burden of glasses always leaving marks on the face it's a small thing in life i know but it's just something that's always always happens to me and i feel like it doesn't happen to everyone it's it's always like why me <laughs> anyway on that note i'm gonna end this video i hope you guys have enjoyed this little sunglasses try on haul and um, i hope to see you in the next video and have a wonderful rest of the day bye